Friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Next.js Advanced series. In this video, we are going to create user profile page, right? So we have created different pages uh, like sign in page, sign up page, home page, and news page, right? So this is going to be probably a final page in our project, right? A user profile page. So uh, I mean to say, if you see, we have this sign in page, then sign up page, then we have news home page. If you visit this news, then we have this. Uh, complete new space right you can add so much details it's just um, I have added very small I don't know why but it's okay uh, let's go and create that user profile page and let me tell you what I'm going to do in this uh, profile page I'm going to use data fetching strategy get server side props so I will, I will use get server side props to fetch, fetch to render this page uh, on the runtime right and let me tell you why because every user's identity is unique right the reason I don't want to have static HTML page for every user, right? Also, I want to check on the server side that user is authenticated or not. Let's say I want to visit my profile. So I must be an authenticated user, right? If I'm not an authenticated user, then I, I, a project should not allow me to visit uh, that page, right? So I need to check that on the server side, the user is authenticated or not. Also, I don't want to generate static HTML page for every user, right? That's totally bad idea. Even you can go for these uh, articles for the news, you can create you can create a static page for these news and that is going to absolutely increase your performance. It's up to you. Uh, but for the user profile page, definitely I'm going to use uh, the get server side props because I need to validate a user authenticator or not. Second option, I don't want to create an static HTML page for every user, right? So I will simply uh, use get server side props. Let's go and create that page. So here is our website project and let's minimize things. And here within the pages, I have this profile page already created uh, long back, right? ID we have so much blender over here so let's remove things from here because that's the old one when when we were learning about Next.js right so let's simply go and remove things and here we're gonna say const user profile page and then here we're gonna say return and we are gonna return an HTML so that is actually JSX and here I'm going to say user file page. Now this is going to be an export default, default user profile page. Okay. Now, so user profile and this is going to be an index file, not an ID because I don't want to see an ID because user uh, if user is logged in then i will have an id within the session and i can pull the id from the session so totally not required index.js uh, js so this is a profile page save this and let's try see it's working or not so let's go over here and i will say uh, profile and and yeah so here it is user profile page so the page is created working absolutely fine now we have to write some logic to get the data to get the users related data right Informa information about the user and the and the news this user created all the news uh, created by the user we need to fetch right so we'll simply say export const and here we'll say get server side props and this is going to be an async function and this is a sync function so I will write a try catch to handle the error and here's the error and here I, I'm gonna say const and I'm going to pull the session first so session will say await get will fetch uh, will use the get session from the next shot client library and here we're gonna say request it needs a request parameter right request so it can fetch uh, token from the cookie right so here we can say uh, okay we need context from here ctx context and then here we'll pass ctx dot request okay so we got a we got our session now we'll validate the session if session exists then we will pull more information right we'll use a user id and we'll fetch all the posts all the news related to that user we'll say const uh, user equals to await 
and we haven't written any API for that. So let's write an API. Let's quickly go navigate to the client folder and request. And we have this simple pattern. Let's copy this and repeat this thing. Uh, it saves lots of time. So here we need to pass up payload and uh, here is a user and uh, let's remove this. And what, I, what I'm going to say user push, I'm, I'm going to fetch. So we'll say user post or or just keep you think you can think of it like uh, user and user id you can keep anything uh, user post and that's all and it is going to be a post request uh, post and user slash post uh, let's add a s over here so user slash post and i will pass the payload over here right so this is our payload and this is a post request whatever we'll get we'll simply return that save it and let's name this thing to uh, get user post get user post let's copy this copy this copy save uh, get user post okay cool so uh, let's go to the api folder and uh, here we have user and then post so we'll create that uh, user folder let's say user and within this user we'll create a file you can create a file post because we don't have any parameter over here so we simply create a file post.js right now we need to have a handler function uh and let's get it from existing one post id and yeah let's copy this thing copy and let's paste over here okay let's change few things uh we are not getting query because it's a body we are sending the id we have id over here and that's nothing but the user id right and uh, based on user id will fetch the data so instead of yeah post find one and here we'll say user and then we'll pass the id okay cool and post yes select id title slug image description everything basically everything and let's populate the user uh, details uh, that is not required because we already have that user so let's remove that thing from here let's remove this populate okay cool uh, save this the select and then execute oh, we have this id and then if, if this is valid then we'll return the response and basically this is going to be find not the find one and this is going to be post here it is going to be post here it is going to be post something went wrong response and it looks fine to me okay and here it is not a semicolon okay because this is a chaining uh post or find then dot select then execute okay let's go and check in the database so here we are and let's go to the post and here is the user id so this is the user id so i'm just uh, writing a condition based on that so that's the reason i've written this uh, user and then this the id of the user cool so let's save this and uh, hopefully this is gonna work and let's try to call this api so let's go to the profile page and here we're gonna say await and we'll say get user post right and here we're gonna pass the payload so that's nothing but an object and we'll pass id uh, that is going to be like session dot user dot id not i it's id session dot user dot id okay and we got the user post i will return uh, return uh, these things within the props of the component simply say return and here we'll say props sorry props and here we're gonna pass the post created by the user right we'll simply say user post user post and dot body yeah that's that's what so this is you can write it as like uh, response and that's the body so this is the user post response dot body and also uh, i need to check the uh, i need to validate the user if i already have the session of the user then i will simply pass that so i can get that details from uh, within the component right we'll return this save it if this user is not an authenticated user we'll simply uh, tell him this is not your page you can't visit it just go and log in right so we'll say return 
and here we're gonna say props or initial props will say redirect because simply redirect him to somewhere where he can create an account or login right so we'll say we'll provide the path where it needs, where it needs to go say destination destination is going to be like locked in and then there is another property that's required that's a permanent we'll say false so this is going to be a temporary basis not a permanent so it's basically means uh, it's where i will show you so here we go and yeah so if you see the redirects uh, redirect uh, documentation right within next years you can find what pre permanent means if true it can be true or false if true uh, the status code will be 308 and which instruct client or search engines to cast cast the redirect forever if it is false we'll use the 30 uh, if false then it will use 307 307 status code which is temporary and not cast so it will not cast that page forever okay so we'll let's say permanent false and if there is an error let's again handle it with the redirect part let's say redirect and here let's provide the path we'll say destination let's go to the home page something wrong happened let him back go let him go back to the home page yeah right we are cool so we'll say permanent and false okay so this is something uh, that's kind of like heart of this page. So get server side props. And here we are passing props. If you get the right data, then we'll get the post and session. Otherwise it will navigate to somewhere else. Okay. So let's go and get the data. So we'll post and session we'll try to get. So we'll say post and then we'll try to get session, right? And here we go and say const uh user right equals to get value and we'll pass the session over here and we'll provide the path where we want to get this the session dot user if not then simply say null uh, and now we have the user right Save this and let's see how uh, we are in on the right direction or not so something wrong happened right cannot uh, read properties uh, null and yeah so something wrong let's go and say sign in uh, okay let's do the sign in ash and then say password sign in now let's try to go to the profile page and this is the request to the server and here we got ash so this is working fine okay so here it is and what next save and here we got the user email so ash if you want a content create a content writer please contact me on this email address ash at the red web script dot info and let's have a breakpoint uh, let's have an HR here we'll say HR and now that there is a line that makes us separate right and here we can show all the posts related to that user so let's see what we have got over here so the console.log and say post and let's check the inspect consent console and here we are object and here's a post and here's a two post related to that user cool right so this is perfect so we can show all of these posts over here right we are related to this user right so let's go and write that
Okay, so we have written this post. Now let's uh, see is it working or not. So link is not defined. So let's import this link component. Let's import a link from next link. Save and see. Yes. So this is working fine. We got this view mode. Here is view mode. And link is not defined. That's the old one, I guess. Let's clear the console, reload. And this it's uh, rendered on the it's pre-rendered, right? So here it is. Uh, we have no problem, no, no issue at all. We got these pages. We, we can minimize the uh, title of this. So we can use a smaller one uh, instead of uh, instead of using h2 we can you we can go with h3 and much smaller uh, yeah this is a little bit better right uh, but still view more is going out of this so we can we can design this we can apply the css over here right we can have some uh, card class and then we can use that right And this is also looking not nice, right? Uh, kind of like uh, if we remove this calls, I can stabilize this spacing. If I will use this bootstrap class, then it's like kind of difficult to stabilize this spacing, right? So it's better to let's not use that class. Okay, and let's remove these things. Save now, it is gonna look like this. And here we, uh, we can say let's remove. Uh, this one too. Save. Perfect, right? We can say these two uh, to be like flex. Say style and say display and then flex. Now it is side by side. And let's we can have a spacing around this uh, title or we can have spacing around the image. So we'll say style. I'm just writing raw styling, you can improve it. Margin uh, right. Uh, let's say it's a, And this is looking like this. Now let's have a margin from top and bottom. Say margin from top and bottom, uh, five pixel left, right, zero. So it is gonna be 10 pixel or let's have 10 pixel because margin both sides doesn't work. So here it is like spacing is much better now. Uh, view more is visible over here you can click and uh, view more and see the news and yes it is working let's go to the ash profile okay we have yeah this is working so this is a slash profile and here you go create news then you can create the news you can go to the home page you can click on this view more and you can see the complete news you can see the hash face now this is the news right news page let's update this fix this mark because this mark is coming right we need to show the author of the user who is the author so let's go and post and uh, we are getting all the posts right so which api is that uh, user post here we are getting no not this one uh, post then user post yeah not this one post and then id index uh, this one right the handler is giving you all the posts so slug here we can say uh, let's get the user also user and let's populate this user with a name say populate and say user and what do we need we need let's go id and then name save this so basically we need just a name over here let's format Okay, save this and let's go and check over here. Uh, let's go and uh, let's go to the home page. Where is this index of chairs? Here it is. Okay, uh, this is the home page, right? And within this page, uh, we have this mark, right? So we can say post dot user dot name.
uh, let's go to the home page and see why it's not working so let's remove this and whatever it was let's let's try that mark and then post we are going to say Jason, we are going to see, we are going to look inside that and we'll identify what's wrong with it. Oops. And here we have this ID and then title and then slug and then image created at. We are not getting the user over here. Okay, we are getting post, but we are not getting the user. So if you look over this, here we have the user, and then we have underscore ID, and the name, right, whatever we are trying to get. So yes, we are getting that user dot name, it should work. Let's try it again, and here we go and say index for chase. So this is the post, and here we are going to say post dot user post dot user so objects are not valid as a react child post dot user dot uh, name and now it's working i don't know why it was not working before maybe it's something wrong with the compilation okay now it's working so you can see by ash this and it's working absolutely fine Let's try with a couple of more uh, users. So here this post is by Ash. And you want to see if this post is by again Ash. Let's view more. You can see the posts, right? Let's log out uh, Ash. And let's go to the sign page. And let's go to the sign up page and create a new user. Okay, so the, uh, okay, so we are done with this project. We have covered everything, and that is enough to start anything. Even you can start an e-commerce or whatever you want with this amazing knowledge. And uh, what we can do in addition of this project, we can do like forget password. We can create a page for the forget password, or we can use the same page for the forget password. The same API request we have to make, we just have to uh, uh, give user an opportunity to create the password, right? And validate him by sending email and those stuff, right? So that's the only thing left in this project. Rest, everything is covered. Also, one more thing we can do in this project is profile update, right? If some user wants to update their name, or uh, the email address no we can't allow someone to update the email address right because that's why that's how user is there right so that's kind of very very risky so right now we have only name or we can allow user to update the name and that is again an addition we can do in this project but hopefully this is nice enough to continue for a new and ne next project thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day Bye bye